I don't think this year, in spite of the fact that they will buy some players and improve their squad, that they will find it so easy. First of all, they've become a great scalp for everybody else now. Everybody will want to beat Chelsea even more this year than last year. All right? And I don't think Arsenal and I don't think Tottenham will have the wobble this season that they had last year where they lost a large number of games, more games than they would want, and more, going, more games than they have to in order to win the championships. I don't think that'll happen this year with Arsenal and uh, Man United. They find sides, they've got good players, they've both got good managers, and they'll be uh, after Chelsea. And I think um, they will lose less games, so will Arsenal and so will Chelsea, they will carry on. They lost one game last year, Chelsea, remarkably. Arsenal, the year before that, didn't lose a game. So it would appear to me that to win the championship now, you haven't got to lose any games. But you see, what is needed, that if we can get the six clubs, Arsenal or Chelsea, will not go to those five clubs, in my opinion, for what it's worth and beat all those clubs at home and away and get maximum points from all those games. Each club will take points from each other and that's what we need to do. So that one club doesn't dominate or two clubs don't dominate the championship. It needs six clubs. It needs, it needs, and we might get it, it needs Chelsea to go to Aston Villa to make the, club, to make the league more exciting. Not for Chelsea fans and Chelsea football club and Jose, but what it needs is for Chelsea to go to Aston Villa and Aston being good enough to beat Chelsea. And now the market's open. We have now an open tournament. We have an open competition. At the moment, it's a bit closed with those three clubs dominating. And like I'm saying, my aim and the chairman's aim, uh, Freddie Shepard's aim, with mine, was, was to try and infiltrate that top section and get in there and, and threaten the championship. And for certain parts of the seasons, in the last three years, we actually did that. I mean, I remember once going down to Arsenal three years ago, beat Arsenal at Arsenal 3-1, and went to the top of the championship that day in December. But we couldn't hold it. You mentioned Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea. Who might be the other teams to who might break into that top three? Well, Liverpool, of course. I mean, one would always say Liverpool. I think David Moyes last year did well at Everton. Uh, now, can they do it again? They finish fourth. Can they do it again? Look at the pressure on David Moyes. Now, if he finishes eighth, they, they want him sacked, which is ridiculous. It's, 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 it's outrageous. The guy's a good manager. You know, he's in a, we're in a competitive world, but David Moyes might not finish fourth uh, next year. You know, look at the pressure on Sam Allardyce. Did a wonderful job, Sam Allardyce. Finished sixth. I spoke to him three weeks ago. He said, they'll be expecting me now, he says, to finish fifth. He said, how can I finish fifth? I said, well, <laughs> I didn't got the sack, so don't finish fifth. <laughs> he looked at me, he said, that's a good point. 